What will happen when humans go extinct? We are as much part of the planet's ecosystem as the animals we strive to protect or eliminate. So, what do you think will happen when we all go extinct? Wondering why this might be? Hello and welcome back to today's episode on the channel. And today, we'll be taking time to discuss what may happen when humans go extinct. You know, like when you and I vanish. Many are dependent on our existence. In our rotting cities, which animals would survive and multiply? Many animals are successful because of us, so what will happen to them when we're gone? Yeah, there's gonna be crumbling cities, packs of dogs attacking domesticated cattle and sheep, new primary predators emerging from the rubbish of rusting metal, and collapsing skyscrapers, blah, blah, blah. You know, different questions and answers have been given to the question of what's gonna happen when humans go extinct? But one thing we can agree on is that Mother Earth would happily relax from the suffering caused by human civilization. The moment of extinction is generally considered to be the death of the last individual of the species. Although the capacity to breed and recover may have been lost before this point. While human extinction is the hypothetical end of the human species. Now here comes another important question, which is, is it really possible for humans to be extinct? I mean, the growth in a global population follows a flat line for most of human history. And then, at the turn of the Industrial Revolution, the line shifts to nearly vertical, like a hockey stick, as the population explodes. The same shape shows growth in technology and innovation. Flat for thousands of years, and then suddenly, germ theory, telephones, airplanes, and the internet all within a few hundred years. But sadly, a graph showing the increasing destruction of our environment would have the same shape and would lead to our demise, thereby threatening that future of our recently acquired abilities to destroy each other with nuclear weapons and lethal synthetic biology. But is that all gonna happen? <laughs> Certainly not. Yet there are different possible occurrences so, let's examine them individually. There would be light. Once mankind goes extinct, areas of the world will go dark. This effect will happen within just a few hours of extinction. Without human skills and actions, power plants will fail to convert fossil fuels into energy that will provide light. Also, since nobody left on Earth will be using power, the power plant system is designed to automatically stop emitting power whenever there is a sudden drop in power consumption. There will still be areas that will remain to have light due to the solar, hydroelectric, and windmill-powered power plants. But still, without manpower, this will only last for days, perhaps months, or even a year for some. Eventually, after all of the energies that these plants will emit were used up, the world will be completely dark. Satellites fall. Years after the human extinction, the artificial satellites that were sent by humankind into orbit will begin to fall. These satellites that are orbiting the Earth will soon run out of fuel and fall down. Unlike the planned re-entry of satellites today, there will be no human that will be able to plan the final destination of these satellites into a remote area where its debris will not cause any casualties when this happens after the human extinction. Although the smaller satellites will more likely burn up upon the re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere due to the heat from the friction, the bigger satellites don't just totally burn up. Today, space operators have a place to store these large satellites, and this place is called the Spacecraft Cemetery. After the human extinction, the falling satellites will no longer fall on the spacecraft cemetery. The debris will just keep falling everywhere on Earth that can even harm the animals that are still alive. Meanwhile, 
the satellites that were sent way up high at over 22,000 miles above the Earth are predicted to stay there wandering in outer space. However, due to the gravitational pull of the Earth, these satellites will not wander very far and will stay near the Earth's atmosphere, polluting and populating the area. Vegetation Reversal First, the animals, and then the vegetation will go wild too. Now, mankind tried to crossbreed different plant species over time to produce perfect harvests. You know, our today's delicious fruits and vegetables. I mean, who would think that these are not these fruits and vegetables' natural appearances? Studies say that without mankind's cultivation, these vegetations will go wild in a way that will go back to their natural forms. The vegetations will become unrecognizable over just a span of one or two decades. Sweet home is gone. Mankind's homes will start to fall apart over 20 or 30 years after the human extinction. Houses need ongoing maintenance and repair. Without power sources and maintenance, house structures will be weakened over time and begin deteriorating until nothing will be left. Similar to today, vacant and abandoned houses have larger tendencies of crumbling down and rotting than the occupied houses. Sand to cover the face of the earth. Famous cities and urbanized areas will soon be covered by the thriving vegetation in 25 years after human extinction. There will be no one left to control the growth of plants, grasses, and mosses. The nearby forests will reclaim their previous territories where our today's cities are lying and no one will stop the thriving of the trees and other vegetation. While some areas will be mostly green, some areas will be covered with sand. Beautiful cities such as the iconic Las Vegas and Dubai will soon be covered with sand, leaving no skyscraper to be visible. The once lively and populated cities will soon be taken over by reptiles and vultures. A Reset flood. Remember the story of Noah's Ark? The Great Flood will also happen after the human extinction, except that there will be no one to board the Ark. After hundreds of years, man-made structures, dams specifically, will soon crumble and collapse due to the water pressure. The waters will sink the coastal and delta cities and flow towards the other bodies of water, causing the great flood-like phenomena that will change the world's geography. Breathable Atmosphere The contamination of the Earth's atmosphere finally ended. Hundreds of thousands of years later, after the nuclear and chemical breakout, there will be cleaner air, free from pollution, and harmful substances. Oh, finally, the Earth's atmosphere is clean and more breathable for every creature left on it. Visibility all over the world will also be clearer. At this time, Mother Earth may be thinking of human disappearance as the solution for the unending air pollution that humans cause today. Electromagnetic radiation. Although the atmosphere will be cleared from the contamination and the dangerous substances that are breathable, electromagnetic radiation will remain around the Earth. While plastic can be destroyed, electromagnetic signals remain on Earth forever. I mean, how amazing is that? Fragments and remnants of telephone, television, radio, and internet signals we make today will still be pinging around in space even after the human extinction. And should there be new species or creatures you think will walk on Earth after the demise of humanity, then let us know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like, 
click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on every release. Thanks and 